Stephen and Carolyn, we've been out here all night. I can tell you it's getting colder and colder, but like you said, progress is being made. Still a lot of work to be done. We're out here near Nadine and Meadowcrest in Huntington Woods, and this is what folks are still dealing with days after that heavy wind. You can see this big tree laying on this power line and telephone line, and down there another line is just dangling. Obviously another fairly dangerous situation that we're at out here. Some folks out here have power, others in this neighborhood do not. Some are telling us tonight they cannot go another day without it. We just have our milk. Adjusting to the new norm, residents storing food in coolers all across Metro Detroit. Others are learning the best way to stay connected is to huddle close to the generator. Hundreds of thousands are still waiting and wishing for the lights to come back on. This room is obviously the closest room. This is where I sit, right here, room, so. right here. Folks like Maria Sabreco really need electricity. For now, she's giving up her safety to stay warm, using the stove to heat her Southfield home on Oakland Drive. She has muscular dystrophy and fears losing juice for her wheelchair, already facing life without her needed adjustable hospital bed. Electricity for me is just not uh, a luxury, just watching cable. Or I was going to miss my favorite show. It was about whether or not I'll be able to be mobile and comfortable. And what about seniors? Some are facing life on the chilly side at Bella Vista Glen in Highland Park. Management is checking on residents every hour, but some are still urging us to get this message out. Please come to Bella Vista Glen and help us get our lights back on because there's people here that's on, um, you know, breathing machines and things like that that really need the power, you know, and then it's really cold. This neighborhood was hit fairly hard. You can see the caution tape right here, but it's all over this area. And if you're quiet, once again, you can hear that buzzing sound of generators in action. Progress is the key word tonight. You talked about 90% of DTE customers by Sunday night. We're told at least 75% of customers should have their power on by tonight. So that is some good news. For now, we're live in Huntington Woods, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.